Man, I wonder what's gonna happen. I don't know if you watched that game inside before. I've yeah. never played it or seen it. Is it similar? No, but the vibes kind of remind me of the same thing. It's like <laughs> an expiration. Yeah, like it's kind know. of dark. You just have to figure really? out the world as you go. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It reminds me very much so of that. So we're, we're gonna go find some dude, right? I forgot his yeah, name. Yeah, we're gonna find some dude named Momo. Momo? Yeah. From Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Now I can meow in my full glory. <gasps> look at them all, look at me. <laughs> oh, you can meet everyone. Oh my god, look, they're so angry. Hit the meat. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna meet everybody. You gave us such a fright, we thought you were a zerk. I can show them an item. Ooh, very pretty. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Let me show him the item. Such a beautiful dream. What a shame. It's just a dream. Hmm. Okay. What about this person? Oh, this person's just sleeping. What if I meow at him? No? <laughs> Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? I will. Look, I can just jump on random things. Oh, translate. Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. What? Okay. Talk to this last person. Um. Um. <laughs> huh? Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. Okay. Oh, they're not gonna like if I scratch their carpet, huh? <laughs> they don't care. Must scratch. <laughs> okay, they don't care. Okay. Tim Momo. Look at this person. Translate. Oh, there's all kinds of people. Barterman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Can we wear clothes? <gasps> if we could dress up, that'd be cool. At least a hat. Maybe some boots. <laughs> Yay, they like meows. I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Another picture of the outside. Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense. Okay. All that weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. The Guardian. That's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. They think it's fake? <gasps> Ooh, you like that. Pet me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he loves cats. Do it for him too. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> it's so cute. You look a little like a Zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Oh, is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? What's all these places? You want something? Ah, the myth of the blue sky. Beautiful concept. Nobody likes the outside. You're new around here. What can I do for you? We just show them this. Oh, that's a nice picture of the outside. Momo's a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. 
His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. Remember. Remember what? What is that? Ew. Oh well. Ew. Do you do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. Ew, no! <laughs> That's nasty. I don't even know what that is. I guess the robots eat something. Or drink something. Ah. My scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's people here. This is a newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. You want to go outside? Well, good luck. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Guess that's it, huh? Yeah. Jacob, employee <laughs> of the month, September 27. Alright, let's get going. Oh my god. There's so many people here. They're all gonna tell you to go meet Momo. <laughs> yeah. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? Yeah, they're all just going to tell me it's stupid of me to go. I do love knitting. So far I've needed 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right material around here. Electric cable? Poncho? That doesn't sound very comfortable. I'm just going to show Grandma. That's very pretty. It looks a bit peculiar to be real, though. Okay. Hmm. I'm starting to think it's a waste of time to show them that picture. Grandma yeah. clothing. Yeah, okay. let's climb somehow. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Interesting. So humans did exist, I guess. He, he did acknowledge them as soft ones. Announcement. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Sayuba oil per day. Please contact the guardian. Nah, that's useless for a cat. Yeah, I have no need for Sayuba oil as a cat. Have I talked to you? Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's drunk. Sorry. Nah, he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. Oh my god, that actually worked! <laughs> Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. What? Wait, let me try again. He's gonna... I don't know. I guess to get him to open, he gotta pour paint or something on this man. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, so I have to pour some paint, and then he's going to open the door. Where? He said the roof. <laughs> need to okay. get up high or somewhere. need to figure out. To get on the roof. Okay. All those little vents. OK. 
Okay, that trash can. Yeah. You got to think like a cat. <laughs> yeah. Everything is a, a path. I am a cat. What would Pokey do? Look at this ball. No. <laughs> <laughs> These are the hooligans. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Yeah, we do. <laughs> hmm. Meow. Are you supposed to meow and make him distracted or something? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so cute. That's so cute. Genius. Oops. Man, okay, I have to go back down there right now. What's the easiest way? I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascals. What? What's this creepy music? Watch There's probably something to find in here. It's a laundromat. What will I find, though? I don't know. Maybe you gotta come back after you talk to Momo. Maybe so. Take. <laughs> oh my god, I just stole their detergent. What are you gonna do with detergent? I don't know. Can you climb? No, you can't climb in there. I don't think there's anything here. You just came in and robbed a man of his detergent? Yeah, I just took his detergent. Yeah. I'm about to leave. You probably need it for some quest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, moving on. We got what we need. To Momo. Thank you for your detergent. Okay, this seems like the right path. Any path that goes up is the right oh, path. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Hey, <laughs> those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Oh, well, maybe you can show Ooh, him. Yeah, he maybe he's actually will be receptive. The outside, Momo told me he'll get me there one day. Finally, somebody who's not such a negative Nancy. Swanito. Yeah, Swanito's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, drinking problem, Swanito. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to help you. We're going to help you clean up this mess. We had cat. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to scratch up his bed. <laughs> I'm like, no, his bed. <laughs> Look, I can meow while I'm sleeping. Cute. Oh, that's adorable. I'm purring, too. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we really got to get to Momo. Oh, of course, you gotta do the stretch. Okay, here's the paint, dude. Where's that Look sign? Up. Look up. There's a bucket. How do you get the bucket down? Hmm. Okay, right there. You see? Climb those ACs. Is 
this his house? Yay. so sad. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? Ah yes. This is the picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yeah. Well don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too. But now they're gone, and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that blah 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 transceiver doesn't work. Oh, did he say the F word? <laughs> My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Hmm. Momo's notebook, one out of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay, let's see what's here. Outsiders. Sorry, Momo. I must. He has a cat toy. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, if I press down, the cat walks in all kinds of different directions. <laughs> this is so accurate. It's so good. Okay. This is so good. Just knocked over all this man's books. I did? Hmm. Hey little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, so they're here somewhere? Oh no. <laughs> We're bad. So bad. Bad cat. Oh no, you're bad. You're scratching everywhere. I like how many places they give me to scratch. Yeah. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Now, where the heck are these notebooks? Maybe they're in here. No. <laughs> no? There's another room. Check the other room. Where? Wow. <laughs> yeah, go back there. Oh, yes. Remember. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Why is this music creepy? Guess the notebooks aren't here. I don't like this music. What? What the music change? 
They won't let me change the music. Okay. Guess I'll leave. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun and fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to the radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which forms soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tides, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Where do you find that? Okay, I guess I'll leave. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh. That seems like a lead. Ah, thank you. Bucket. Bucket time. Yeah, me cat. Nah, I'm cat. Yum, 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 we yum, can yum, we, we can travel so far just yum, being yum, a yum, cat. Yum, 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 yum. Meow. All right, there's gotta be a notebook in here. My notebook senses are tingling. Your notebook <laughs> senses are tingling. <laughs> yes. Where do you think your notebook <laughs> senses take you? I don't know. Yes, we're gonna turn this place upside down. Uh, a table, a perfect place to hide a notebook. Okay, never mind. <laughs> hmm. Oh, is that a room you can go in through those squares? Yes. Uh, good thing we're a cat. <laughs> yes. Oh, here, me sheet music. Okay. That's not a notebook. Okay, that didn't do anything. Ah, oh, that looks like a notebook. Clementine. An outsider notebook is the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going to according to plan. We've managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown and apparently is controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay. We're just gonna leave. You're not gonna say anything, B12? Oh, B12 isn't gonna say anything. Do I have to look for it myself? That looks like a... Oh, there it is. I thought you were zooming in on it on purpose. Uh, no. Amazing. You did it on accident. <laughs> yeah, I did. We're going over there. It's definitely a symbol. Ah, yes. I can jump so high as a cat. There we go. Wait a minute. You're supposed to get inside. I don't know. Oh, drop something in there. Ow. 
Where's the buckets? Oh, I can use this battery. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take this battery out. I'm gonna take it with me just in case. Oh, the battery just disappeared. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Yes, just knock everything over, yes. <laughs> oh yes, the scratching. <gasps> I'm a Next. genius. Uh, maybe later? Yeah, because I knocked my escape, my entrance, I guess, to go back on the bed. Well, I don't think you could have gone out the same way anyway, so... Yeah. Where's this notebook, though? knock over those boxes. It's probably in one of the boxes. Maybe not. There oh, it is. is! Wow, amazing. It was in a box! Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabaltazar. Why is Zabaltazar? His name is so much harder than all the others. I know! You got Momo, Clementine. The other guy. <laughs> I forgot the other one, but it wasn't as hard as the Baltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, there's one more. So we're going to go out here. So it has to be over here. Here's a bucket. Maybe you take the bucket somewhere? Yeah. I have to take the bucket. Yeah, look around. See if you see any. That's the where we started over there. Yeah. Try climbing up on your right. Right here? Yeah. Just, yeah, let's go high up and see what we can see. I'm a cat. It's I'm barbed cat. wire. Oh, there. What about there? Yeah. Oh, hello? Are you dead? It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there. Away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Interesting. Now, how to get over there in the easiest way possible? We said it was over there. Yeah. Yeah, take that pole again. What pole? Oh, that pole. Take a left, maybe. Huh? Your own way. Yeah, there. Oh, right here? Yeah, you already, you already went that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm bad. With, I'm bad with directions. Wow, is this a vending machine? Wow. He's gonna beep, hit beep, all the beep, buttons. Beep, 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 <laughs> Wow. Oh, you could take it. Wow. Can you get more? I don't know. Oh, I guess not. Speed times two, do you have to use it when you're fighting Zerks? Maybe. Ooh, what's that TV remote? <laughs> they still have news down here. Alright. No! <laughs> Trigger! I have to scratch it. I'm 
Just a stray cat. No, oh, there's a hole right here. Ah, good thing I'm a cat. Hello? How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Well, he's not in such good shape. Take sheet music. Are you gonna have to play music for somebody one day? Maybe. There's eight sheet musics. There's books everywhere. Do I have to like knock everything over? They encourage me to knock things over. And what are these dots that I can't get to? Yeah. Oh, this looks important. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so cute. Accurate. Come on, little buddy. Oh my god, you saw that amazing jump. I'm like, how high can I go as a cat? You safe. It has to be here. You see it? Did you see it? Huh? There's a safe. There's a safe? Yeah, you knocked over a book and then there's a safe. Oh, you safe. There is a safe. <laughs> wow. Use spirit detergent. Oh. Oh, they want me to use something? You need a key. These are useless. Okay, there's a key somewhere. Perfect. Maybe here. <laughs> yeah, it's just ruin all the books. Oh my god, he's so bad. Hey doc, I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Doc oh, is the other guy. Yes. Doc is his name. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. No, it's not. Because now a cat but... can find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meow, 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 meow. What is that? Uh, a notebook. Wow. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper level, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Ooh. We're coming, Momo! Momo, we're coming. Momo, we're back. Yay. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? We have all of them, sir. Here's the second one. That's the Baltazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he's very wise. Yeah, what do you think about Doc's notebook, huh? What do you think about that? 
Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. But what about the last one? Clementine. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? <laughs> you heard it, meow. Of course we did. Meow. Of for course your, we did. You're a super cat. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine. Zabaltazar. Doc. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Yeah. It voila! It works! Come with me. Yes. I'm coming. Where are we going? Up there. See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. Wow, transceiver. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Man. All right, Momo. We'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a good stopping point. We'll deliver the transceiver tomorrow. And then we'll see if that will be our ticket to go to the upper levels. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.